My name is Rodney McCabe. I'm the Director of Product Development for Zero Weight State. In this screencast, we're going to discuss how to configure Product Point to accept ProE parameters. To start the configuration, on the Product Point home site, navigate to Site Settings. Once we're in Site Settings, we can add a Site Column. So we'll click Create. I'm going to call this ZWS1. We're just going to do a string parameter. And we need to make sure we pick Core Product Item Columns. I'll just enter in a description. And then click OK. The next step is to add that site column to the PTC content types that have already been set up for Product Point. In particular, we want the PTC content column type. So we navigate down and we want to add from an existing site column. So we'll select our ZWS1 column. We will add it and click OK. Now let's verify that the parameter took hold and it did. There it is, ZWS1. So now we have that column in our content type. This is a new deployment of product point, so we're going to go in here to the work directory and just show that there is nothing in here currently. And now in our Pro E part, we want to add a parameter. And if you remember, the parameter name was ZWS1. It was a string parameter. And we'll just say hello world. Great, let's click OK. And let's save this now into product point. We'll just leave the name the same. And let's go see what happened here. We'll refresh. And there it is. Let's open this part. And here we can see that ZWS1 was populated from ProE. Let's edit this. And then we'll have the update go from product point back into ProE. Click OK, and we'll verify. There we can see that the part was in fact updated. Now let's open Pro E back up, and we will do an update. And let's look at the parameters. And here we can see that the value did in fact transfer back from product point into Pro E. That's all there is to configuring parameters and product point. Thanks for watching.